Thank you for keeping us company. This is Y254 discussion Monday kicks off right now. We are talking about the political statement. In particular, we're looking into what uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musyoka said uh, last week that uh, he will be where the president will be. And uh, on a local station, he mentioned that he will be in the ballot come 2022 tonight. That's our uh, discussion. We want to see does he have what it takes there was a meeting in Okambani, Charles, and uh, three uh, people in the helm, that is the governors. We had Makweni Governor Kifudha Kibwana, Charitingil of Kitui, and uh, Mutual of Machakos. They didn't attend that meeting. <coughs> Yet, Kalunzo is here saying he'll be in the ballot. Is his house, quote unquote, in order? Uh, good evening. And thank you for hosting me today again. Uh, Kalonzo, first of all, I can say, as per your question, his house is not in order. Bearing in mind, the three governors rode on his back mm -hmm. to be the governors. In 20, 2013 election, mm -hmm. Mtua rode on Wiper to become the governor. True. And after he became the governor, he galvanized his own political space. He created his own political space. Mm -hmm. Then he came up with a slogan of Mendeleo Chap Chap, which later turned into a political party that was registered. Mm -hmm. And uh, the political party itself gave him a comeback in 2017, mm -hmm. where most thought that was a, a, a shot on a leg. But no, it was like a plus to mutua. In other words, he was sending a message to Kalonzo, with or without you, I can make it. Mm -hmm. Remember the challenges he faced, to himself faced, the court battles with Wavinia and Deti, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, still he maintained and led. And remember the Mandela chapter -chap itself mm -hmm. has members of county assembly in Machakos, also outside Machakos, mm -hmm. if you go to other areas like Embu, yeah, okay. they, are, they, are, they are members of Mandalore Chap, they are MCs of Mandalore Chap Chap. Mm -hmm. And it also had serious uh, contenders in the election. So this one becomes a challenge. So in other words, Mutua does not need Kalonzo, but Kalonzo needs Mutua mm -hmm. at the moment. Okay. Secondly, let's go to Makueni, Kibuta Kibwana. Mm -hmm. When he went in first in 2013, he had Mungano party, not with Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. He was alone. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this one, he was given, he, he was voted in eh, on that party. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. And he got it. Then he did his de development. Remember when the MCS, the Wiper MCS, tried to, 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 to fight him yeah. uh, on development that he could not even pass, his bills could not even pass in the parliament, okay? Yeah. Uh, in the assembly, I'm sorry. And even we heard him say, I asked the president to dissolve Makwene County. And we, can, if I'm ready, we are ready even to go for a by-election, whereby he believed he's ready. Remember who was fighting him? The wiper, the wiper people. Party. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. He won. In 20... 17. 17. Mm -hmm. He just said, ah, let me be with this guy mm -hmm. and see. So he came and was with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Kalonzo also needs Kifuda. Kifuda Kibwana. Right. Unlike the other way around. Mm -hmm. So if, if they choose to attend mm -hmm. or not, it's not, it adds nothing to them. Mm -hmm. Gilu, in 2012, 2013. And they come from the same place, yes, actually. Yes. Now, Gilu and, and uh, him, they come from Kitui. Mm -hmm. And these have always been in separate camps. Remember True. that? Yes. There have been the political figures of Kambani since. Eh? Mm -hmm. And they have always been in separate camps. Remember when Kalonzo was in Kano, mm -hmm. Gilu was in uh, 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 SDP mm -hmm. with uh, Kina Nyongo. Mm -hmm. When he went for that uh, election for presidency in 1997, Mamata. Mm -hmm. Then it, it came in, 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 in the year 2002. He was in NAC mm -hmm. with the Kinawamalwa and with the other people. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So, okay, and, uh, and, and Kalonzo was not in that picture by then, mm -hmm. okay? So Kalonzo took himself to Ngilu in 202. After the thing of, uh, the, the, after the frustrations mm -hmm. they got in Kano, because they believed they, they, he'll be picked okay. as, as, the, as the candidate to right. succeed mm -hmm. Moi. But things went against the thoughts. Mm -hmm. And it made them now think of a way to go. So they formed NAC, National Rainbow Coalition. That was a coalition that brought President Kibaki into so, power. Uh, this far we can see his house is not in order. His house is not in order because these people, they don't need mm -hmm. Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. But Kalonzo needs them for him to stabilize. That's the fact. Mm -hmm. Because one, Ngilu controls the Kitui County Assembly. And you've seen the things Ngilu has done in, in, in Ukambani. The th he has a record of health from the time he was a minister. Mm -hmm. He's the one who started the thing of uh, health uh, facilities, even uh, in the, at the national level, when he was the minister for health. The things of water, he did it when he was the minister for irrigation. Now he has gone as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a governor in Kitui, he has done the same in Kitui, and he's doing, she's doing a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is a person who has her own support. She does not need to rely on Kalonzo Pasi, because remember, he ran, she ran on her own political party. She didn't uh, buy on, on, uh, on a wiper. Okay. She, she went on her political party. And because of the frustrations she had in uh, Jubilee the first term, yeah, right. she decided, let me join this because I want to flex my muscles politically. I want to come back politically. Right. Let me just join this position. It's and, either and she you did are, it. It, it is either you are in NASA or mm. you are in Jubilee All right. for you to be somewhere. And that was the fact of the day by then. All right. Uh, speaking of the man Kalonzo in uh, in 2007, yes, he was duped. Yes, L there was uh, the Orange yes. Dem Democratic Movement where they even formed the Pentagon. I think that repeated itself in 2017. Mm -hmm. But still, this man Kalonzo has continued to be duped over time. As we speak, the Jubilee House, the kinder and sort of know their leader. Who will be? Yes. Although it is divided, yes. but we can tell who will be the leader. Mm. But here, Kalonzo says, where well, he will support the president where he will be. So if president wakes up tomorrow and says, "I'm supporting Dr. Ruto in 2022," what happens of Kalonzo? Is he hoping to be the vice? Uh, I can say, yeah. Kalonzo's statement is a very reckless and dangerous statement from where I sit and my own observation. Because mm -hmm. when you say, I will be where the president will be, one, you don't know where the president will be come after 2022. Mm -hmm. Will he be at home? Because so many times, yes, there are people pushing him to be the prime minister. Mm -hmm. And there's no way you can, uh, and otherwise I was thinking uh, critically, there's no way you can come from a top position to a junior position. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, being a prime minister, just being li like uh, 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 in charge of the cabinet, OK? But now, these people never retire, they're given later duties. Fine, <laughs> fine. Uh, uh, and uh, looking at Uru himself, he has said several times, I'm tired, I want to go home. Mm -hmm. I'm tired, I want to go home. And remember, the presidency he has right now, it is something that he was forced on him. That's one thing we should consider and put in mind. Mm -hmm. So, to some extent, as much as he's being pushed, as much as his cronies are coming up with ideologies and other things, you know at times you can bring up, you can, you can spark up a debate, just to read the mind of the people or just to create animosity mm. within the area mm -hmm. or to try and understand what the other person is trying to think mm -hmm. and uh, from that you see even what uh, Kipchunga, Kipchumba Murkomen wrote today on, uh, his, on his Twitter handle that uh, if, uh, if, uh, if Jubilee Party with the majority in 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 uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in 2022, mm -hmm. then the prime minister the, the comes, prime minister comes to, to the to the to the president if he will contest with the Moses Kuria and win. Remember that is the statement. That's how he finished the statement. Mm -hmm. So, which means there is already already a pre-planned thing be be. Be between mm -hmm. Moses Kuria and Uru Kenyatta to mm -hmm. contest in other, in one or the other. Mm -hmm. That who will be 
Okay? The so Kalonzo has no space So there. Kalonzo has no space. Mm -hmm. Kalonzo is trained just to create uh, himself uh, as a sympathizer, like he did in, in 2012. The shuttle diplomacy that he used to do, thinking that uh, when he does the shuttle diplomacy, he'll be considered as the best person. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind that going and networking outside the nations, because it was that we need to have a way to get out of the Hague. Mm -hmm. So he was, the can't, he was on shadow diplomacy so much, trying to negotiate with other countries on that. Mm -hmm. Now, he has also brought up another thing of shadow diplomacy, whereby he wants to go around so that he can negotiate the debt that Kenya has with China. And I heard him also mention that thing of shadow diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Uh, fine, it is not bad. If he can negotiate, bah, fine, it's not bad. If he's good at that, it is good. He can, he can do it. We'll mm -hmm. be very happy mm -hmm. if our, our debt is well managed and uh, negotiated downwards as a country. And uh, for him, mm -hmm. uh, for 2022, the question is, what if Uhuru will be at home? Will he be at home with Uhuru? But if I could use his words, he said, you think uh, I will come from up there and fall here. My friend, I'll be somewhere. Does it mean maybe even internationally there's a position he's looking into? Uh, when uh, we talk of international law... Actually, before you respond to that, yes. uh, sometimes this year, mm -hmm. he, when they were in Machakos, uh, he said, uh, I'll be your huntsman. Yes, the spanner boy. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, who has power? He controls, he, has a, he can negotiate outside. Mm -hmm. And the, the privilege he enjoys as a president, sitting president, to protect himself mm -hmm. from political uh, competition is not the same privilege he'll enjoy when he's uh, oh. a retired president. Mm -hmm. You cannot s tell me that uh, Kibaki can negotiate something for somebody outside or na internationally for someone at the moment. Mm -hmm. Because he has a, doesn't have any political uh, fears mm -hmm. that, that, that may be wor worrying him so much. Mm -hmm. So for him to say that uh, talk of the deep state, now I want to bring in the issue of the deep state. When you talk of the deep state, the question comes, does it mean that there is something he knew that mm -hmm. his friends in ODA, in COD, and NASA and didn't NASA. know? Mm -hmm. Because he comes out clear, talk, very much uh, emphasizing about the deep state, looking into his statements. Because when you look at 2007 election, mm -hmm. they were all in ODM. Then, he went with ODM, and then it was ODM Kenya. So mm -hmm. he went with ODM Kenya. Mm -hmm. Then this one remained ODM. ODM. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So th these are some of the things that he came out to divide, and that's why he, uh, at some t as, uh, uh, a statement he used, "Nitapita Yes. When and he became yes, the vice president. And yes, he did it. He was the vice president. Kibaki was the president, and then was the prime minister. Actually, so he's he was one of the, the longest serving president in this uh, constitution. Yes, <laughs> yes. So he did so. Now, when we talk of now, he brings in another thing of deep state. Does it mean that he also wants to bring in the scenario he, he did in 2007? Mm -hmm. This is some of the things that we need to look into. And if it is so, it means then there'll be a rerun. Mm -hmm. Because if he goes for the, for the, for the elections, eh? mm -hmm. if he vies in his area, then the way it will be, who is his deputy? Mm -hmm. Who will be his deputy mm -hmm. president? Now, and that one, it will mean, now we have very, three serious contenders. For example, let me say Ruto. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, Msalia. Msalia. Mm -hmm. and then we have... Uh, Wipe him the Kalonzo himself yeah. because these are the three people who have declared they are, they, they'll be in the ballot on the ballot in come 2022. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the people that have some support. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the first runner up mm -hmm. or the, the first person mm -hmm. won't garner 50 plus one. Mm -hmm. Now this is a rerun. Mm -hmm. Okay, that mm -hmm. needs people to sit down and negotiate. Okay, and remember, he has said we shall form a coalition mm -hmm. post and past, pre and post, whereby we shall negotiate mm -hmm. before the elections, and after the elections, we shall negotiate. So, what does this bring in some what idea does this bring in someone's mind? Mm -hmm. Either we, ha we are going to be Strong co contenders in 2022, right. and none 
Number one, we want Ghana 50 plus one. Mm -hmm. Now it brings Ariran. And Ariran, there has to be a negotiation. Right. Whichever way. Mm -hmm. So, when they team up, he's there in the government at the end of the day. So, when he talks of uh, he be where we would be, he knows what he's saying also, using the deep state. Because right. I, I want us to touch on NASA. Yes. Because as we speak, it's like NASA is dead. Yes. Only one man is showing interest in the opposition. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other person is still there. Uh, that is uh, the Ford Kenya. Mm -hmm. The ENC is, seems to be strong. Mm -hmm. uh, we have now Wiper trying to say they will go their way. ODM began a while ago. So it's like NASA is no longer there. What will take Kalonzo to beat Ruto? Having in mind, in 2017 and 2013, this NASA, they were called, actually they just changed their name. Yes. They were in the same. Mm -hmm. But they were coming against the forces of Uhuruto. Yes. And the same thing happened in 2017. Yes. Just that we don't know now what the president is saying. But also, we have it in mind, Ruto is still there. So what happens? Will they have the, force, the enough forces to drive out Ruto? Uh, first of all, I can say, NASA, in activity, it, it is dead. On paper, it is still exists. Because mm -hmm. with regards to the document that was submitted, mm -hmm. Uh, three coalition part, three, three parties need to pull out. Mm -hmm. Then that's the end of NASA. Right. So no, none of the political parties has pulled out. Mm -hmm. Even the, the uh, chap -chap is still there. And no, machinani. Chama -chama. No, that one pulled out a long time ago. But you see, they say three. Mm -hmm. But these are not three. You see, they say three, mm -hmm. but it's only one that pulled out mm -hmm. and joined mm -hmm. the other party. So it still remains, even if Wiper lives today. Mm -hmm. Then it's the NASA stance mm -hmm. on paper, but mm -hmm. on the activity, no. Mm -hmm. uh, because everybody is championing their own interests differently. Mm -hmm. They have their own different ideologies. Mm -hmm. And he lacks consistency. Kalonzo lacks consistency. Mm -hmm. Because one, if you are a person with ideology, mm -hmm. then when you believe in yourself, mm -hmm. then he could not have gone for the position he was offered. Mm -hmm. In, uh, with, with the with the guru, he could have said no. Let me build myself. Because one, this is a position that is keeping him busy, not even to attend to to his political matters seriously, not even to sit down and strategize for 2022 seriously. Because you are sitting down strategizing on how you can create peace in South Sudan, mm -hmm. or now you can make South Sudan become a nation. But you don't know how long it will take. That's one thing that is very. Uh, uh, very disturbing. Mm -hmm. Look at, uh, for example, Mdavadi. In when he failed to gain a, a seat in Sabatia in 2002, when Uru tried to offer him a nomination, he said no. Mm -hmm. They have said that I be at home, so let me be at home. Till mm -hmm. then they say that I should come back. Right. Then he came back in 2007. Mm -hmm. They voted him, he came back. Mm -hmm. In uh, 2012, when he failed the election, uh, when he lost the election uh, mm -hmm. as a presidential candidate, mm -hmm. uh, they tried to offer him, a, because they were in coalition with Jubilee, mm -hmm. they tried to offer him a, 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 a cabinet uh, position, mm -hmm. but he, he declined and said, no, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll forge my way forward in 20, 2017, right. which he did. Mm -hmm. So for Kalonzo, lacks con he lacks consistency. Mm -hmm. And for him, because he was a strong, uh, a strong contender in 2007, mm -hmm. from my position, I believe Kalonzo could have maintained that so that people should know this is what I stand for, this is what I go for, and this is who I am. Now he was branded watermelon because <laughs> he doesn't have a clear stand. All right. He doesn't know where he should stand, okay? Mm -hmm. He just, somebody who can wipe this way and that way, and that's why, and in other wiper. words, he's wiper. <laughs> uh, but as, <coughs> we speak, as we speak about him, and uh, 2022 is not far. Yes. Do you think Kenyans have faith in this man. He was the vice president. He performed in his time. But now, the time he has been out, uh, there's nothing uh, we can point at uh, Honorable Kalonzo has done. But now he's coming back saying, I want to be the president. Do you think now at this point Kenyans have the faith considering what we have been going through for the last say, 10 years? Kenyans won't take him seriously. That's mm -hmm. one thing I can say. Kenyans won't take him seriously. And, uh, and it will be hard work for him. 
And you see, when Mudama says that I'll, I'll work to make sure that Kalonzo and Ruto are working together in 2022, and this is a, uh, this is a personal friend. Mm -hmm. Something, yes, Kalonzo has said it is his statement, mm -hmm. not my statement. But you see, this is his personal friend. This is a person who has always led negotiations. Even in court, it is the one who led negotiations. Mm -hmm. On NASA, it is Ndama who led those negotiations. So when he speaks, he knows what he's speaking. And maybe it will be so. And when, when he comes and says, eh, I'll be where the president mm -hmm. will be. Remember one thing, yes, we might say uh, the president mm -hmm. and uh, the deputy are not in terms. But mm -hmm. you don't know. What is behind the curtain? Uh, that's the point now. Yes. Because there, there, there are those rumors yes. that uh, he will be where the president is. We have Mudama saying he will make sure the, uh, the deputy president and Kalonzo are working together. To mean there's still some relationship between the deputy president where people believe it's not happening. But there is. There is. So that means uh, that would be a sign to the people who support deputy president and the president, the Huruto Park, let me say that, they should still have some faith that uh, our house is somewhat in order. The, because, yeah, the, the house is somewhat in order, I can put it that way, because when you look at uh, the support uh, he enjoys uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the central Kenya, the, the deputy president enjoys in, in, in central Kenya, mm -hmm. is an overwhelming support, overwhelming support, mm -hmm. which no one can dispute, okay? Mm -hmm. No one can dispute, and he knows how to work. Mm -hmm. If you work poorly, then he... He doesn't he have nothing to do with you. He look for somebody who, will, who is competent enough. He puts there, okay? Mm -hmm. For like the case of Waititu is a gold case. All right. He look for somebody else who is competent enough, and he'll put him there. And this person will support him at the end of the day, mm -hmm. okay? So, for 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 Kalonzo, bringing such a statement, you never know. What, what if the president still maintains the stand he had All in right. 2012? That Yangu Kumi, Yaruto Kumi. Then, okay. which means Kalonzo is with the, it just, his statement uh, is still a right. A final question as we wind yes. up. Yes. Uh, will Kalonzo become the deputy president? Because he wants to be the president. The negotiations will go on table. Uh, the deputy president, Dr. William Ruto, wants to be the president. Do you think Kalonzo will take the seat of the deputy as we wind up? Uh, in a better position, Kalonzo won't be the deputy. If we can pull the competition mm -hmm. as the things are today and uh, looking at the change of times and change of tunes based on the BBI and come to, uh, looking at the, uh, also the statement the deputy president I issued uh, in Eldred at the other time, eh, mm -hmm. that uh, it's not a must for uh, people to die for me for president. If it is just because of presidency, then mm -hmm. let it be. Right. What does he mean? I can, can go for th I can go for the prime, pr prime minister position in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Looking at, I have the majority members from my area mm -hmm. and from other people who support me from the other areas. Mm -hmm. So I can marshal people, I can marshal MPs, I can control the parliament, right. I can control the senate, mm -hmm. then I get the prime minister position, then I control the cabinet. So where will be Kalonzo? Ruta has already done his mathematics mm -hmm. in one way or the other. But it's a win-win. It's a win-win situation for him. Okay. And that's why he he has come out clearly saying, I am supporting the BBI. Mm -hmm. I'm not objecting, I'm supporting it fully. Mm -hmm. And you are ready to go for it. All right, your yes. final thoughts. <laughs> My final thought is that uh, what I want to say is that on uh, corruption issues, best in counties, let Kenyans be auditors of their own counties. Mm -hmm. Let us question the budgets, let us question the projects, and let us question the allocations that have been channeled to counties, what have they done? Are they satisfactory mm -hmm. to us or not? Because a lot of uh, embezzlement of funds is happening in the counties. Okay. Yeah, we just had yesterday the governor at the Senate of Bungoma crying of the same, and it's a serious issue. Embu are crying right now. So these are some of the things that we need to look into. All right. Uh, Many thanks for coming and sharing your opinions in this particular uh, discussion. He has been my guest, Cyrus Elito, a political analyst. Coming up next is why Mashariki DJ Tieska and Ken Relbis will be here for you. I'll be seeing you again in the new year. Many thanks for being a part of Y254 News Highlights. 
the whole of this year that is coming to an end and I want to say thank you so much. Actually even tonight, thank you so much Jane Mwende watching from Nakuru. We appreciate your company and many others who have kept us company. Everyone who has contributed this year to the production of uh, these news highlights, I say a big thank you. I'll be seeing you again on Monday. Have yourself a very good night. My name is Dereva Hillary. Have a blessed new year.